Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen. Uh, got some empty bookshelves behind me there. We're in the process of moving, and all my books are still in storage. Um, but it's still time for today's daily devotion, and I've got this book here. It's not in storage. It goes with me every day. Um, it's the Bible. And our daily devotion videos are where we take a chapter from the Bible, from God's Word, and we read it together. Post these videos five days a week. You can access them, of course, at any time, because they're all here on the channel, organized by playlist. And each playlist covers a biblical book. We're in the New Testament right now. And uh, each video is one chapter of the book. So there's a whole playlist, 28 videos for the 28 chapters of Matthew, for example, and so on and forth, so forth. Currently, we're reading the Gospel of John together. It's the fourth Gospel, the final of the Gospels in the order that they're um, arranged in the New Testament. And also, it's the one that was written last chronologically. And uh, we're kind of approaching the three-quarter mark in John's Gospel. Today, we read John chapter 15. And about half the Gospel of John takes place during the last week of Jesus' life. I've got a sunrise coming through the window here, so let me just adjust this curtain. Or I'm going to be blind in just a moment. Let's see if that helps. That'll do it for now. Um, the last half of John's Gospel, more or less, more than, takes place <clears throat> during the last week of Jesus' life. And so where we are today in the story, Jesus is in Jerusalem. We've seen his triumphal entry. He, his arrival is celebrated. Uh, there's a scheme afoot to arrest and uh, assassinate him. And Jesus um, has been communicating with his disciples. They've gone to an upper room, to an upstairs uh, room to observe the Passover meal. And Jesus understands the significance of this time. This is the last time that he's going to sit down with his 12 closest disciples, his apostles, uh, the 11. Because Judas is about to betray him, but he knows this is the last time that they're going to sit together before his arrest and crucifixion. And so we see uh, a couple chapters ago, Jesus washed the disciples' feet as a display of love and humility. And he's been teaching um, about his kingdom and life in his kingdom. And uh, he predicts the denial of Peter, for example. And today in chapter 15, we pick up that story and there are uh, 27 verses in chapter 15, so a, a pretty short chapter comparatively. It's not even a full page in my Bible. And uh, Jesus will teach about His being the true vine, and He'll warn the disciples about the hatred that they might expect from the world, um, sometimes even in the comment section. So let's read John chapter 15 together. It begins this way. In verse 1, I'm the true grapevine. This is Jesus speaking. And my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and He prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they'll produce even more. You've already been pruned and purified by the message I've given you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it's severed from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Other translations use the word abide, abide in me. Yes, I'm the vine, you're the branches, and those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned, but if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. 
I've loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I've told you these things so that you'll be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends since I've told you everything the Father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my commandment. Love one another. Verse 18, if the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. The world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it, but you are no longer a part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world, so it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A slave is not greater than the master. Since they persecuted me, naturally they'll persecute you. And if they had listened to me, they would listen to you. They'll do all this to you because of me, for they've rejoiced, excuse me, they have rejected the one who sent me. They would not be guilty if I had come and spoken to them, or if, if I had not come and spoken to them, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates me also hates my father. If I hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do, they would not be guilty. But as it is, they've seen everything I did, and yet they still hate me and my Father. This fulfills what was written in their scriptures. They hated me without cause. But I will send you the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth. He'll come to you from the Father and will testify all about me, and you must also testify about me because you've seen, you've been with me from the beginning of my ministry. That concludes... John chapter 15. Hope you've been blessed by the reading of this chapter of God's Word, the New Testament of the Gospel of John. If you know uh, someone else who might be blessed as well, please do uh, feel free to share this with them in some way via social media, or text message, email, however uh, that works best. Hope you'll join us again next time as we continue our journey through the Gospel of John with John chapter 16. God bless you.